So I've been deburring some areas um, that really needed some attention. And this is, I think, as far as I want to take it before paint. Uh, you can spend literally days doing this and uh, this is as, again as far as I want to take it I don't want to keep wasting time and effort I think it looks pretty good and it's a lot better than it was so I also resealed the, the well plugs and a couple other areas just because I had some extra material. I also replugged that one. So again, for the most part, this is ready for paint and that is always an option. And um, I think that if you wanna replate or anodize or whatever uh, they do to these things, you would have to remove all these tubes, which is, in my opinion, a lot of work and you're always taking chances to get of getting something plugged. Anyway, that's my opinion. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mask top and bottom to avoid overspray and uh, I'm going to give it a few coats of first primer, uh, some e self-etching primer, and then paint. Okay, so I have it masked and it's pretty much ready to go. All I want to do is just cover this area a little bit and that will be it. It'll be ready for paint. Alrighty, so it's been about a day and a half and I think this is as cured as it will ever get. And I know it's hard to, to see uh, on, on camera, but um, it looks really good. It's got a nice satin finish. And the first thing I want to do is start removing the masking. See what we have. And this is where it really pays off if you take your time to do a, a good job. And by the way, you can always uh, spray clear on the body if you want it a little more shiny. I wasn't going for a shiny look, so this is, this is good for what I wanted to achieve with it. And you want to make sure that you remove any adhesive, tiny little pieces of masking paper that may remain there. As you can see, the, uh, the black and the, uh, the original finish provides a very nice contrast, which is really, really nice. And once this is completely done, you will see even a more uh, I think I would even call it stunning look because of the contrast.
So that is it so far for all intents and intents and purposes. Really looking good. By the way, um, if you want to eliminate some of the um, roughness when you paint the body, you can always opt to use something like a hammered finish spray paint. I was tempted to do that, but again, I decided against it because I really wanted to try this black finish and I'm very pleased with it. And again, this is once it's got all the little parts uh, installed, you're not going to be able to notice a lot of the little imperfections. But still, if you wanted um, a different type of finish, a hammered paint may help you achieve that. And now, just to show you real quickly, I think I'm going to keep the um, the air horn natural. I even buffed it a little bit with uh, some um, steel wool and I'm not 100% finished yet but uh, it is looking very nice and there's one and this is the uh, throttle body or the base plate And of course, there's no gaskets at this point. Just want to show you the contrast. And the light, of course, in the garage is not the best to show you every little detail. But I think so far it's looking mighty good. And once all the little bits are installed I think this is gonna really really look beautiful and I'm doing this just to show you the the contrast here so there's gonna be a lot of that that is gonna really dress up the um, the carburetor and again help hide some of the little tiny imperfections so good progress